Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, today, I am gonna be doing a tutorial using our friend Cation palette. You can do a lot of intense eyeshadow looks in this palette, but I'm doing something a little bit more toned down using Just a Kiss. I love the way the look turned out. I love Just a Kiss. I love it paired with Girl Bye. It's everything to me and more. Also in this video, I'm gonna be swatching on my lips the four lip colors. So the two liquid velvets and then the two creamy matte regular lipsticks. I'm just gonna be swatching them really quick so that way you guys can see what they look like with a more toned down eye just because in my other video I swatched them all. I was wearing blue. Maybe it was a little distracting. I don't know. So I just wanted to do it in a more neutral environment and I really thought I was gonna end up wearing a mob story with this look and then when I swatched Aftermath, like when I put it on, I was like, oh, that's it. That is it. Aftermath is happening right now. Gosh, I love this lip color. It's rich. So excited about this video, this look, the swatches, the fact that our collection goes on sale tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., Dose of Colors, Pacific Time. Thank you guys so much for all the support and love that you've shown us on the collection. Whether you get the whole thing or just a few items, I can't wait to see how you guys play with the looks. I just, I just can't wait. I'm so excited. I have a lot of energy right now. If you can't tell, I'm not really breathing and I'm sweating at the same time. So here we go. Foundations on, eyes already have a base. I use the ColourPop concealer and we're just gonna jump right into the shadow. Here we go. I'm gonna start with John. Hey, <laughs> you little fuck. <laughs> I'm starting with basic. Uh, I'm just gonna do a light wash of basic all along here. John, how does that make you feel? Basic? Yeah. I know that's not really why we named it that. We really named it after you though. Shithead after you. Oh, good one. Burn. All right, next step. I love, I love just a little basic in the crease. Very soft tone. The next step is to add the deeper shade. And this is where I'm like, do I want to go necessary? Do I want to go girl by? Or do I want to go churro? I think for this look, I'm going to go with girl by. This shade. Girl by. Oh, some of this. And I'm just using a fluffy blending brush. I'm going right in my socket up here. You know, we like to make the lid look much larger. And just blending down. We like to call this a wash of color. We go back in with the first brush that I was using and just come back in and blend up here. Blend it all together. Okay. The more you pack on Girl By, the more intensity you're gonna get, but I'm going for a softer wash, a wash of color. You know, I love a good wash of color, but you know how a lot of times, a lot of shadows that are this color, they turn pink on your eye? This one does not, and that's why I just love it so much because it makes me not afraid to use it. Somebody who typically does not wear like reds and coppers, I love wearing this eyeshadow color. What I did was I brought it starting from the outer corner of the eye and I brought it up right underneath the brow bone. That's gonna make the eyelid space a lot bigger, give you more real estate when you bring the crease up a little bit higher. So we had the party the other night, which was so much fun, the launch party that Dose of Colors threw for the collection. And I got my makeup done by Glam Tech Steven and my hair done by Ironel. They just inspired me to, first of all, just do my hair and makeup, <laughs> but also, you know, try new things, try different things. I put a little bit of oil in my hair today. This side, this, this part right here is really bothering me. This side's I'm vibing with. You can't get it right on your first time, right? Right? So I have the wash on my lid. Sometimes what I do is I take a little bit of a smaller, like a tighter brush like this one. And then just in that area right there, I wanna add just a tad more shadow to add a little bit more crease definition, just right here. There we go. I feel like that just lifts it even more. Oh, you know what I was thinking about doing, you guys? I've, I think I've, I don't know if I've ever done like a wedding makeup video, but I was thinking about doing like, if I could do my wedding makeup now, how, I, how would I do it? I'm thinking about it. I think I do have a tutorial where I just recreated my wedding makeup, but obviously at this point, I would not do the same thing. I was thinking about doing a video like that. Let me know what you think. There we go. Yes, crease is lifted to the moon. So now what I'm doing is just buffing it towards basically the nose, 
Just kind of blending everything together, kind of into the foundation, connecting. So now we're gonna take Just a Kiss and you can use a brush. The brush that I like to use uh, for these particular shadows, you can use your finger, which I like to use, especially when I'm packing it on really heavy. This is the brush that I use though, the Royal and Lang Langnickel number six, I believe. Actually more dense than a concealer brush. I'm not sure what this is. It was a lot longer, but it broke. But for this look, using just uh, your finger is perfect because you're really just more kind of tapping it on. So I'm gonna take just a kiss. Look at that. Oh, I love it so much. And I just have the ColourPop concealer on under that I uh, use as an eyeshadow base, nothing else. And then you just tap it on. You see how it just kind of sticks? So I'm just tapping it all over. And because this color doesn't have like a really strong base color, that's why you can just kind of tap it and pack it on like this. It's just so many reflex. So then I just come back in and then I tap a little bit more just right in the center of the eye. And look at that. So we're just gonna do a little bit of liner. This is the dagger liner, which is super easy to use. This is really just for me to cover up the lash line is why I'm doing the liner. If you are not doing lashes, feel free to skip this part. This look would look really pretty with no false lashes, but you know, I like going there. All right, and I am gonna tight line even though I probably still have so much eyeliner in my eyes from the other night. It was such a smoky look, but ugh, I loved it so much. We used Game Over, it was bomb. I feel like this look would be really pretty without false lashes. I mean, I wouldn't do liner on the top lash line. I would just do mascara and call it a day. And for the lash style today, I'm using a winged out, fluffy, wispy style. It's kind of hard to tell here. This is the Body Bee Lashes, the style Sugar Baby, I believe is the style. You could definitely go, depending on your preference, you could go like a more rounder lash, a symmetrical lash, like where it's longer in the center. I think, I do not like the way those look on me except for Instaho, the Batty Bee Lashes. I really love those ones, but I'm gonna go with these today and I feel like it's about to shut it down real quick. Oh my God, I have to stop drinking coffee. It's too much. Oh yes. Look at that. That's cute, right? That is cute. For the lower lash line, I'm just gonna go straight into Girl By and start smudging that on the lower lash line. Obviously you can do as smoky or non-smoky as you wanna go for the lower lash line. I kinda like to do just a light in between moment. And then for the water line with this particular look, something a little bit softer, I'm gonna use a nude color in the water line. It's really gonna open up the eyes. This particular one, which I do like a lot, is from Marc Jacobs Fine Liner in the color Nudist. It is really bright though. So that's one, I usually have to do two coats for a light color. Whenever I do a nude color or a light color in the waterline, I like to take a darker shadow. I'm gonna use Chains here and bring it really close, like smudge it up into the lash line. Just that way there's a nice contrast here. So just right here with a flat brush. There we go. I'm gonna use the NARS mascara again. Hopefully it doesn't transfer. I'm gonna add a little bit more girl buy into the crease just cause I did take it like a little bit darker in the lower lash line, just right here. Ooh. <laughs> you could do a little bit of just a kiss in the inner corner, but I really want the focus to be on the lid space right there. So I'm not gonna do that. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take, what I am gonna do is take some more Fuego. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, ooh, ooh, I'm loving this eye makeup, you guys. It's so soft and it's subtle, but it's still impactful. And that is why I love Just a Kiss. So I'm gonna show you guys the lip swatches with a more neutral look, because I was wearing a very bold, a moment look in the other video that we did. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I'm gonna try and leave a little, little Cupid's bow action in here today. The first color I'm gonna be swatching is a mauve story. I really like to pair this one with Spice Lip Liner, but I have no idea where it is right now. That's usually what happens. So a mauve story is first the Liquid Velvet formula. Such a cute, cute color. What if I add a little bit of this? This is Kat Von D Hawkwind. So this is a mauve story with a little bit more of a kind of purpley mauve lip liner. Mm. All right, next shade is Hey Girl, and this is the regular lipstick formula. And then I like to just blot. 
Definitely more pinky than a mauve story. This is Smashbox Nude Medium. Not quite brownish. All right, I don't know if I had something in my tooth the whole time. I just took it out, but. Next up is my main, the Liquid Velvet. And I went with a little bit of a deeper, but still more neutral lip liner. You could definitely go like more brown tone, more pink. And here is my main. Little aftermath action, hmm? All right guys, so this is the last shade and you know what's funny is I thought I was gonna wear a mauve story with this look and now I'm like, you know what, no, it's an aftermath moment. Every single lip went with this eye color or eye situation that I have going on, which I kind of planned for, but still seeing it, it was kind of like, okay. <laughs> That's it for this video, you guys. I just wanted to show you a simple eye look using the palette and just a kiss. I love the way this turned out with Aftermath. I think it's such a pretty color. They complement each other, you know? It's not too matchy-matchy. So that wraps up this video and the swatches of the four lipsticks, the Liquid Velvets and the Creamy Matte Lipsticks. The collection goes live tomorrow, Monday, September 24th, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, josephcolors.com. And then the following Sunday, it'll be in store and online at Ulta. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Quick, eat. Oh, son of a bitch. Give it to me. <sighs> he keeps calling me a dumb fuck and I just don't think that's necessary. Right, meow. You're a peach. Thanks, Jones. John, you are the best. Don't believe what they say about you, John. <laughs> <laughs>